Bill Merchant, historian and curator here at the D&H Canal Historical Society. Our museum here at 23 Mohunk Road in High Falls will be closed in two years, so we created the Virtual Museum, short three to seven minute segments that will tour you through this museum while we still can. I hope you enjoy. Today's episode of our Virtual Museum Tour, we'll look at and discuss a little bit the work of Le Grand Botsford. Le Grand Botsford was born in 1860 and lived until 1937. Pretty decent uh, old age there, huh? Le Grand's parents had one of the first hotels up in the mountains, the Shongum Mountains above Ellenville, New York, where the D&H Canal ran through. Uh, they ran a hotel there, as did Le Grand later too. In fact, Le Grand had a hotel right on Lake Maranza, which is now extant. Of course, there's no sign of the hotel itself anymore. It's just a big lake. But it was a very popular place in its day. And Le Grand was an artist, as we can see here, and a member of, a, of, of the artist colony that was created in the latter part of the 19th century in Cragsmore because it was such a beautiful uh, part. Still is, and in fact, there is still artists in Cragsmore today who live there because of the, the, the beautiful nature that's there, the wonderful scenes and stuff. And we've got three paintings here. I'll swing around and we'll look at... First, this is a painting that's called Mules Pulling Canal Boat. I love these very simple titles, huh? And as you see here, first thing that strikes me is what a beautiful sky he painted there. Uh, wonderful clouds. But you look carefully there, you can see there's the boat. Some mules, of course, in the, in the distance pulling it. And, and the wonderful flowers in the foreground. Very folky uh, artist Legrand was here. Now we're going to go over this way. This painting is called Sunken Canal Boat. Uh, so this was probably after 1902. This section of the canal in Ellenville had water in it. The canal was sold to Samuel Kirkendall in 1898, but he continues running it from Wurtsboro to Rondau till about 1902 when the New York O&W then buys part of it. But uh, the canal actually still holds water east of High Falls until 1916. This painting, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see a canal boat sunk like this during the canal era. You might see it, but only for a day. They would get that boat out of there really quickly because it would be a hazard of navigation and would slow down all the work. So presumably this was painted in that post-1902 uh, era. And then, of course, what we'll do here is we're going to go kind of the... The scene stealer here. This is called Where Man Hath Toiled, Time Has Dignified. And they say it's a scene of Ellenville in 1898. There's the boat building and dry, dry dock on the left there. Uh, two canal boats in the water. One, one loaded, one not. You can see a lock tender in the lower right hand corner operating the lock. Someone, hey, loaded boat, someone shouts. Some of these buildings still stand in Ellenville, but, uh, but the canal is completely filled in. We have a lot of really nice uh, photographs that show. That's the Hermance building on the left there. This is actually, I'm, I'm going to go and bring us in a little closer for this one, take a look at what some of the more details. It's a very detailed painting there. So there you can see the Hermance building. The dry dock right uh, in the foreground and they're building a boat. There's the loaded boat there and then the unladen boat uh, riding high in the water. A couple of people with a canoe. I don't imagine you saw that too often, but whether this is a fancy of the artist or not, I really can't say. And here we've just got, hey, loaded boat. And if you look really carefully, you can see the drunk passed out at the side of the, side of the bar there. But this of the three paintings, this is probably the, the real masterwork of Le Grand Botsford, Cragsmore artist. Thank you so much for joining us in our virtual tour. New episodes will be put up every week. Hope you enjoy.